let's see how the the little guys react. I need to be a bit careful because this is all about the ducks. I got permission from the owner of the lake or the pond to use uh, this little dinghy boat, whatever, today to try and cover some more water. I have to do a couple of things before I can head out to the massive seas. All pirate style. <laughs> I have to make some sort of paddle holder thingy thing, uh, I'll show you in a minute. I have to clean out the boat a little bit, empty it out, probably going to be some disgusting water in it. I promise the owner to be kind of careful when approaching. Yeah. They are not in a hurry. <laughs> They are just chilling. Too rotten. Uh, maybe I need to cut some fresh. Fresh wood would probably be the best. These guys grow back so quickly that uh, it wouldn't even matter. Uh, that guy is pretty good. Uh, this stuff grows back. I'm not concerned about this. A little greenery. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Like that. And then I'm just going to adapt it to the original hole down there on the boat. <laughs> we need to be fairly strong, I don't want them breaking out in the middle of the of the part that that would be my kind of luck. Okay, I made the paddle holders, I dug a couple of worms, I emptied the boat out, I think we are ready to rumble. I know this is a funny thing to talk about, but uh, this road is 100% hemp, I brought it in Sweden, and it's just so nice to work with. Uh, simple, natural, and if you ever buy something like this, I don't know if it's been treated or something, probably have, but some sort of natural coating maybe, but try and smell it. <laughs> it's a funky smell, but it's a good smell. Okay. Just had a fairly good pike on a small spinner. He jumped out, jumped off right in front of the boat. Uh, I'm using a spinner much a little bit bigger, and uh, hopefully he will come back. I would say maybe two, two and a half kilo. So. A nice, nice fish to land. Oh, nibble, perch. Come on, big guy. 
Mabel, come on. Where are you guys today? Hmm. Can't believe I haven't landed anything yet. <laughs> There we go, a teeny tiny perch, and it jumped off. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> First catch of the day, teeny tiny perch. Better than nothing. Baratang. See you later, buddy. Now we have a fish. Now we just need a big fish. Fuck, I got a good take. My line just kept slowly, slowly, slowly running. As you can see out there, my roach, he fell off. Ah, oh, that was a good pike on the live bait. Damn it. Uh, obviously, that's because of my bait size. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was like a yeah two three kilo, but damn he was aggressive. Wow, that sucked. That's the second one I lost today. Oh yeah, he's he's really really beat up. Uh, that guy obviously there's a bit of movement in his soul, but that guy got him really beat up for some reason. I have had, oh, it's not true, but most of the activity uh, from the fish today have been on the um, on uh, on non lures on live bait, worms, corn, not a live bait, but corn, and then this guy, that unfortunately got off. I can't really lie about it. I must be honest. The fishing is a bit tricky today. Tiny guy. Ah, that was on corn <laughs> and a little bit of worm, but uh, that doesn't really count. I've been sitting here chilling, catching a lot of these guys and a lot of uh, roaches as well. Uh, primarily this smaller, smaller size. Like little red glowing fire dots across the lake. Pretty awesome. You can see them right there. And now my hand is messing up the photo and over here as well. You can see the massive blob. In the center of the photograph is actually a group of dogs as well, all piled up together.
pretty cool to land a fish on this thermal camera or image. I wonder how that would look. Look on here. That must be a carp. What is that? Yeah, that's a that's a carp or something. Look at this guy. Just like the other. Oh, he's way over there now. He's way over there. I'm, I'm not sure if you can see uh, the bibbling there, way out there. Yeah, I, I, I accidentally spooked him, I think. He's cruising around out there. Maybe I should try next time. Small single hook, just bread out on the surface. Uh, I can still see him way over there in the distance. Uh, somewhere over here. Uh, he's just flapping around, doing his, doing his thing. Now let me do a little recap of today. It's uh, right now a quarter to eight evening. I completely lost uh, track of time today. Uh, being out here with the boat has been great because I really, I feel like I know uh, the pond a lot better now. Uh, and uh, yeah, of course that's a, a huge thing. And um, yeah, the fish I lost, fucking three pike now. And uh, not massive fish. I want to say a maximum of two and a half kilos, but anyway, they are. The strikes are so damn aggressive when they strike. Um, um, yeah, and that sucks. Um, one on a tiny spinner, it completely destroyed that one. Uh, tiny number two, and uh, one on on the live bait, and he actually. I got him hooked, but not well enough. That was the first attempt with a, a whole roach, and just uh, just a second, and just a, a hook like this, hooked through uh, his jaws, as I explained, ex explained earlier. Um, yeah, and that didn't work. So now I have rigged it up with a um, a steel system with two three-pointed hooks in it, uh, hooked through the mouth, through the back, and throw down to the same position, and hopefully that's going to be a, uh, a roach, by the way. So, I feel like I need to get a pack before I leave, and since I've lost the three, maybe it's, it's just one of those days. I've been catching a lot of, a lot of nice perch, a couple of roaches. I've um, been taking some more awesome video, uh, testing my new phone, playing with the infrared camera and doing a little bit of underwater footage I'll throw it in there. And uh, yeah, it's just been chill 